Hi, I'm Patrick in the Ask Patrick series. Today's question uh, is uh, based on uh, how to improve your speed in DILR. Now, DILR is a very contentious topic for a lot of students because it takes a longer time to solve each question. And if you don't get one set automatically, the pressure builds up because the time is less. And that's what happened in the last exam, CAT exam. So how do you build up your speed in DILR? Now, one way to go about it is there are patterns in which you need to solve different type of questions. Build on those patterns. And I mean, there is for matrix based question, there is a specific type of pattern which you can use to solve the questions that help you to be faster. For example, there's a tick cross method where you build a grid and then you cross and tick as such. And there is one which is just draw a table and get the answer. So table one is much easier where you just draw a table and get the answer quickly. Though the tick cross method looks easier, but it takes a longer time. So in that case, what you need to actually do is if you want to really build up speed is look out for patterns that can help you to solve things faster. Though it may look a little complicated in the start, but once you get used to it, it will become really fast. Okay, that's one building up patterns for different type of questions in the exam. Second, very important is uh, a lot of people waste a lot of time in where to start the DILR set. So that's what you need to also be aware about. So when the set is given to you, how do I understand the set fast and how do I solve it and you know start the set? The key is to start. Normally, the best place to start is where a lot of information is given to you. So identify areas for different type of sets where you can start properly and accordingly, you know, right, solve the sets. So starting also becomes a very, very important. So pattern forming, starting. Third is trying to ensure that you don't miss out on data. One way is to represent the data properly or ensure that when you're reading it, you don't miss out on data. A lot of people waste a lot of time because they miss out on one data and because they don't get at one data, they miss out on it whole sum and they're unable to solve. So ensuring that you don't miss out on any specific data will also help you to build up speed, right? That is one more thing which is there. And fourth, ensure that you don't read a set again and again. That's one more problem. People read a set and you go back again, read a set again, and oh, they miss some data again, they read a set. So there is a technique and trick where you can read the set maybe once, maximum twice, and get the answer. I mean, like, arrange the data and get the answer. The reading again, again is not a very good way of solving it. So if you can follow these simple rules, it can help you to solve much faster. Okay, Forming proper patterns for different type of sets, right? Then ensuring that you read only once, ensuring that you don't miss out on any data, so try doing all that and ensure that you start properly. So these few things will help you to be fast in the examination. To work on these areas, and I'm sure you'll be good at DLR. And DLR normally improves with practice. The more you practice, the better you'll be. So practice. I've scored 100 percentile six times in DLR section, comfortable with it. And the pure reason is because I focus on these areas to improve on my speed. Hope that helps. Thank you.